Hubert Jolie, The Heart of Business, Leadership Principles for the Next Era of Capitalism. Embark on a journey to transform the way you approach leadership and business with our summary of The Heart of Business, Leadership Principles for the Next Era of Capitalism by Hubert Jolie. This book provides invaluable insights into creating positive change within your organization and the broader world of capitalism, through the power of focused coaching. Targeting a deeper understanding of clients, this summary delves into adopting a curious state of mind, effective listening, and empathizing while maintaining objectivity. The tenets of laser-focused coaching help empower clients to gain new perspectives and pave their way towards realizing their goals. Laser-focused coaching. Laser-focused coaching seeks to understand the person, not just their situation or problem. It delves into clients' identities, beliefs, behavior, and values to uncover root causes of their challenges. Coaches use thought-provoking, non-judgmental listening and prompt their clients to think about what they truly want and need, gain new perspective, and chart their path towards their goals. Through this method, Coaches aim to help clients discover what holds them back and leverage their strengths to make a positive change based on clear priorities. The Art of Coaching Effective coaching requires a mindset of undivided attention and curiosity towards the client. Let go of control, assumptions, and shared experiences to stay objective and professional. Avoid giving advice or opinions and focus on helping the client discover their own solutions. Develop a friendly but objective relationship with the client and seek coaching yourself to improve your skills. Remember, distractions and preconceptions are a disservice to the client. Mastering the Art of Listening, a Guide for Coaches As a coach, your primary value lies in good listening skills. True listening involves concentration without the need to respond or ask more. It takes time to develop this skill, but actively listening to your clients without judgment and using thought-provoking questions can uncover patterns and emotions. Empathy and objectivity are vital in exploring clients' emotions with them. Use the client's vocabulary to build rapport and avoid jargon. Prioritize trust and relationship over problem-solving, let clients find their barriers and truths. Deepening Client Understanding In this summary, we learn how to listen deeply to clients and ask open-ended questions that empower them to share their stories, feelings, and reasoning. By building trust and letting clients lead, we can understand their agenda and reflections, which can enhance our sessions and lead to better outcomes. As a therapist or coach, the first step towards effective communication with clients is to listen deeply. You need to understand the underlying feelings, thoughts, and reasons that drive your clients. You can start by asking open-ended questions that explore the client's reasons for coming. Avoid asking closed questions that only require a yes or no answer. Instead, ask clients what component of their life or career they would most like to discuss in the session. Once the client starts telling their stories, listen carefully and make sure your follow-up question focuses on deepening your understanding of the client's emotions and reflections. If you need more context, ask for examples but make sure you understand the client's reasons for telling you certain details and why they may cause problems. By building your understanding gently, bit by bit, with questions about clients' feelings or reasons for thinking they need to make a certain decision, you can create a safe space for clients to explore their emotions and thoughts. After listening deeply at the start of a session asking careful questions about the client, you'll probably find an agenda for the rest of the session emerging. Still, let the client lead and talk about what they want to discuss, their agenda, not yours. This builds trust and allows clients to feel heard and understood. In paraphrasing what the client says, validate their feelings, say, you feel as though your boss doesn't value your ideas or opinions. What makes you think so? Finally, don't ask questions to satisfy your own curiosity. Instead of asking, what did they say next, ask, how did you feel after hearing that? Ask what, not why. Compact, open-ended questions place the onus on clients to think, which empowers them, and likely provides you with more information. 
reflection can be thought of as encapsulating the essence, and if possible, the emotion of what your client shared. By following these simple tips, you can enhance your client's understanding and empower them to make better decisions. Uncovering the client's truth. Successful coaching entails exploring the big picture when listening to clients, identifying themes, and uncovering their bottom line truth. Clients often conflate different problems, skim the surface of an issue, or perceive their situation inaccurately. Therefore, running with a client's initial remarks can lead to a false premise, limiting a coach's ability to help them successfully. To avoid this, remain skeptical and stay at a big picture level when listening to clients. Instead of focusing on the details, use peripheral questions to explore their vision of the future. Finding a client's truth entails helping them identify their purpose and the root causes of their negative thinking. To zero in on the root problem, coaches need to identify broad themes and patterns in their clients' words and feelings. This includes listening for limiting language and identifying the common themes that emerge in coaching, such as rigid thinking, tunnel vision, and taking things personally. Successful coaching entails helping the client identify their bottom-line truth, which forms the basis for addressing the right problem. Alternatively, coaches might realize that laser-focused coaching isn't the best way forward for a particular client. Ultimately, coaches need to help their clients find their truth and align it with their vision of the future. Mastering Perspectives The book teaches that by identifying flaws in a client's beliefs, coaches can help them shift their perspective and make profound changes. Coaches can achieve this by asking questions that challenge their clients' justifications and reframing their challenges to encourage broader thinking. By reinforcing changes in their clients' perspectives, coaches can help them move past their intentions to change and into action. The book argues that effective coaching is about finding the right place where clients are ready to shift their perspective and assisting them in creating deep and life-changing transformations. Candid Communication for Better Client Outcomes As a consultant, it's important to be candid with your clients and communicate clearly and sensitively. Don't be afraid to ask tough questions and address victim behavior when necessary. Be aware of defensive tactics and give clients time to collect themselves. Encourage clients to consider all implications of their desired outcomes and help them realize their choices. It's also important to identify coping strategies that may be hindering progress. As a consultant, it can be tempting to simply nod along with your clients and provide advice that they want to hear. However, truly effective consulting requires candor and clear communication. Don't be afraid to ask tough questions and avoid sugarcoating your responses. While it can be uncomfortable, honest dialogue can help clients see their situation clearly and immediately. It's important to be aware of defensive tactics that clients may use to avoid discussing difficult topics. Give them time to collect themselves and express their emotions without feeling judged. Additionally, encourage clients to consider the implications of their desired outcomes. Help them identify creative solutions they may not have considered before. Rather than laying out choices for clients, empower them to come to their own decisions. It's important to support clients in identifying any coping strategies that may be hindering their progress. By practicing candid and compassionate communication with clients, consultants can help them achieve better outcomes. Effective Coaching Techniques A successful coaching partnership requires equal participation and objective feedback from the coach. Avoid the therapist role by keeping the focus on the client's feelings and beliefs without relating them to your own. Maintaining objectivity is key, as the client's beliefs may be different even if they match yours. Also, take a step back and act like you don't understand when you agree with the client. Finally, when meeting with a new client, assess whether another coach might better serve his or her needs. Powerful Coaching Strategies As a coach, it's important to end sessions with a final question about how clients will move forward. Laser-focused coaching works best when clients are stuck or frustrated in their thinking. Clients should create their supportive environment and find things that can help them move forward. Instead of doing things for them, offer to collaborate with them and hold them accountable. 
End the conversation collaboratively by asking the client if there is anything more to add or if it's a place to end. This empowers the client to make a decision and recognize their accomplishments. In conclusion, The Heart of Business by Hubert Jolie equips readers with the necessary tools to help navigate the complex world of leadership and capitalism. By focusing on the person rather than their problems, utilizing effective listening skills, and maintaining a balance between empathy and objectivity, you can become a more effective coach and ultimately improve the lives of your clients. Remember, laser-focused coaching works best when clients are stuck or frustrated with their existing thought processes and need guidance to move forward. This book summary is an ideal starting point for those looking to make profound changes for themselves and those they lead.